Ladlad is a Filipino slang for coming out. And on our very first episode, we are talking about coming out. Hey guys, my name is Paolo. Hi sa mga kapem, I'm Liz. Mga achi, my name is Manile. Tara! Ladlad na! Hello. So now we are joined by our guests. Uh, we have Kiko to my left. Hello, Kiko. Hello. Hello, hello. And Kiko is also um, known as Francesca Dynamite, um, one of the famous drag queens in Alberta. <laughs> and also um, to Kiko's left is uh, my ina anak. <laughs> oh my goddaughter, Barbie. Hi, uh, hi. Hi. And of course, uh, <laughs> a fashion designer in Calgary, we have Malia. Yeah. <laughs> we have Malia, and of course, uh, again, we would like to thank everybody for for coming today. We really appreciate you being here on our first episode. The journey of a lot of Filipinos, no? it's a Filipino community in Canada. How we come out, how we came out, and um, how many times our struggles. And there's there a lot of um, there's different levels of coming out. About right. it. Yeah. There's different like you have coming out with your family, mm -hmm. coming out with friends, coming out to your coworkers. So let's start with like coming out with your family. I, I want to find out like so how did you come out to your family? We'll start with Maria. I, okay, so <laughs> I came out when I was like 12, 11, or 11 or 12. Um, I was really young and I sat down with my parents to the so living room. You, so you have this whole like sit down my parents coming out. Yeah. And you initiated the talk to your parents. I was just like, you know, like I feel like we needed this talk because right. I feel like I started getting to know myself at such a young age, like probably like five years old. I knew that I was different. Um, and then I sat them down and I was like, mom, I have, mom and dad, I have to tell you something. And then when I said, I'm gay. Wait, were you nervous? Oh yeah. I was like about <laughs> to cry because I was like, this is the time. Like, <laughs> I can get this old or anything. But like my mom was just like, we kind of just knew, like my mom just knew, my dad knew because, right. you know, I forgot to delete the search history. <laughs> So <laughs> they're very young because they must search history for sila. Right. I don't want to search it yeah, because it's true. internet was dial up. <laughs> <laughs> they so, probably don't know what dial up. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And then so when I came out, my mom literally just said to me, "Did you cook rice? <laughs> <laughs> Did you wash the dishes?" <laughs> and I was just like, "No." She's like, "Go do that." It's like you're not gonna say anything. So. Alam na namin. Bata ka pa. Naglalagay ka ng pajama sa buhok mo. Tapos my my dad. Yeah, my dad caught me like wearing my sister's dress. I actually fell asleep. So pag ano, dad ko talagang ano ko pinalo ako. That was young. You knew at a very young age that you're different. Yeah, but then my parents kind of just realized and just let me live my life. But me, I came out twice. That's right. As a gay, as a gay man, and as a trans woman. Yeah. Right. I think my coming out as a trans trans woman was the hardest because I came out when I was like 23. Yeah. So I knew that I knew that being gay for me wasn't enough there was still something wrong i love dressing up and um just doing makeup and stuff and it just started from there and then it became like um wearing high heels dresses and all that stuff and i was just like you know i'm i thought i was a drag queen at first drag queen, but yeah. no there was still there's still something missing, missing there. Yeah. yeah so i was just like i researched upon being trans and everything and i knew that there's gonna be like you know, I've problems, heard. issues, and all that Especially stuff. Especially in, in, the, in the Filipino it's family. Which yeah. Is the stigma. Right? Mm -hmm. The stigma, correct, of, um, of trans. So that's what I was preparing when I was coming out. I was just like, you know what, let's do this the hard way first. So I came out to my dad first. So right. this is the hard way. What's the easiest way? Oh, my mom kind of <laughs> just knew. I was just, mom, oh. I'm trans. My mom was just like, okay, I'm excited. <laughs> I, I guess that is a question for Mandy too. Because you guys identify as a trans woman. Right? Yeah. yeah. You guys identify as a trans woman. So it was harder. Sometimes trans woman, sometimes trans tata. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ako 
transparent. Transparent. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> ka transatlantic. <laughs> Pag-gabi, translucent. Never <laughs> 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 wait. So, kung yung madali. Uh, yeah, yeah, when you were younger. Trans how clo- but, sorry pa, how close are you sa mother mo? Um, I'm actually close with both of my parents. Why? <laughs> 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 Kasi! Mom. So, what's so my mom? Ikaw hindi? I'm actually close with my mom. Oh, You're yes. close yeah. with Cal, in your experience, um, was it easier coming out muna as a, as, a, as a gay man first and then as a translator on? Ako kasi I grew up with napakaraming lalaki, maraming lalaki. I used to play basketball. Oh. Yeah, like, like, wala, wala, wala pa sa hinagap ko na, oh, magiging babae ako in the future. So like sa akin kakaiba, hindi ko talaga alam na magiging babae ako. That's right. Uh, mm-hmm. Ganun po ba? <laughs> Ganun po. Ganun po ba? <laughs> How about Barbie? Barbie, like I've I've known you as a kid. Yeah. See, like I, I've 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 seen you. Um, blossom. Why did you say blossom? My mother. I want to know that. I want to know that. I'm like no, but I've I've seen you. I've seen you grow up, and um, I I, I know your story. Yes. Right. So like how how you from being little Marion? Would you like to share your story of coming out? For sure. So I know actually Tito Pao he um. He plays a significant role in my life as an, a queer person. So my dad in the Philippines, parang he wasn't as knowledgeable about ano yung community natin. Ganun. Parang nang bubulis yung mga bakla ganon. But here, nung namit niya si Tito Pao, nakilala niya. Um, I I think he told me you're the first gay person na nirespeto niya talaga. And then, may mga binasus ba siya dito? Yeah. <laughs> Meron po. <laughs> Kasi yeah. sabi nga, so, he, nambuli ng mga bading sa Pilipinas. Yeah. Oh, he feels bad for that. Like, he's totally good now. Correct. And then, pero when I came out to my dad, okay naman siya. Ayaw niya lang, ano, nag-makeup ako. Yeah. Um, kasi natatakot siya para makarma. Alam mo yung mm-hmm. yung ginawa niya sa mga bading noon, bading noon na oh, gagawin din sa akin. Right. This is gonna happen to to him. Mm-hmm. Yung, sa, he told me to actually just You'd be like yung simple lang pero like for me like that's so I know parang it's not myself Correct. right of course and then but now we're good now over time it took a couple of years but over time or not even not even two years just like <laughs> Half half of his half of his life he grew up in Canada, and I think same with same with Malia. Yeah. Yeah. Malia came here when I was old, ten. Old. Or it was like 2005. 2005. Yeah. yeah. 2005. So you were about ten, and he was how old were you? Eight years old. You were eight years old. So, um, half of their lives they they lived in Canada where it's more accepted. Right. Yes. And half of their lives as 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 a young person, uh, they grew up in the Philippines where, you know, being gay is being trivialized. Mm-hmm. Hindi mm-hmm. ba nang like, ginagawang katatawanan, yes. you know? Yes. I mean, Comic. You know, you know, although, yeah, there's there's a lot of like comedians right. that are gay, but there's also that part in gay culture in the Philippines. Na parang ay uh, bading yan pag paglalaroan. Right. Feeling ko talaga karamihan ng mga parents, you no? Know, and I and I speak for my own parents. They are scared that their children will be bullied. Children will be made fun of. They'll be ridiculed. Uh-huh. They'll right. they'll Uh, they won't take them seriously. Sure. So their reaction is actually coming from a place of concern. Can and, I and add something to that? Um, for me, I've seen people who's not even gay in my high school and in junior high mm-hmm. who got bullied. That's right. right. So I think More. it's it's literally up to some people to bully. What you're saying is it doesn't matter what you choose as a as a gender identity. You, you, when someone bullies you, it's their personality. It's not yeah. you. Yeah. It's not yeah. how you are as a person. It's how they were raised. Correct. They it's, probably were correct. raised by their parents. Correct. I don't know what how they were raised, but it's not it's not mm-hmm. up to us. Correct. Yes. It's them. Correct. It's, yes. it's not about you. It's it's mostly about their insecurities. Their yeah. own insecurities. That that that's why they're bullying uh, other the people. Gay, other people. No. Right. How about you, Francesca? So, what's your uh, coming out story? Hindi ko. Okay lang. Ano? Ah, uh, wala kami sit down sa parents ng mother. I'm gay. Wala kami. Alam na ng mother ko. Kasi lagi niya ako sinisita ng grade school ko lang. Wakang kanya, wakang malam niya. Wag ka malam niya, wag kang ganda. Patso ka, dapat na laki ka. Right. So, lagi niya napupuna yung kilos ko, boses ko, yeah. yung mga plantik, mga ganon. Yung tatay ko lang tahimik kasi yung tatay ko natatrabaho sa Manila. And then one time, 
napuno na ako, sumagot ako sa parents ko. E paano naman kung ganito ako, magiging buhay ko? Yeah. She looked at me with disgust and she started laughing. Mm-hmm. And then that was the time that I was so embarrassed of myself. That's right. And then, make it worse, narinig ko, sinika pa ng mother ko sa nanay, uh, sa tatay ko, sa uncle ko, mm-hmm. sa tita ko, uh, sa lola ko, they're having a dinner. Hindi na napansin na rinig ko. Ay, si Francis, ganito daw, wakala daw siya, magiging ganda daw siya. So, doon ko naranasan talaga, nawal na ko ng tiwala sa parents ko na karo ko na issue nang lamig ako yeah. uh, ilang taon ta noon yeah. I, I, I can't remember I, I don't remember the age but I remember mm. what happened mm. so, hindi ko talaga makalimutan so you were, uh, so nung nangyari yon so did you keep it to yourself na parang oh na, so lalo ka na confused like who you are and what you want to be or are you certain at that point na I think I'm gay but because of this because of their reaction Hindi magtatago na muna nga ako ulit sa closet. Well, na, 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 isa yung dahilan kung bakit ako nagtatago sa closet. And then, alam kong bakla ako. Ah. I'm attracted to, uh, to boys kasi malit pa ako mm-hmm. nun eh. Pero minsan, yung ginagawa nilang joke yun. Pag may mga family events, uy, magiging bakla sa paglaki niya. That's right. Yun. So parang nagtatawa na sa family. So lalo, lalo ako na yung self-esteem ko talaga, yun talagang mababa. Uh, what you call this? Uh... Uh, gender or race bias, yeah. Gender, stereotype, yeah. Stereotype within your family, family unit. How how it is? How is it when you're growing up? How did you cope up with it? No, masalay ko sa sayaw, taekwondo, volleyball. Mm, at nimi minsan hindi ko sila invite sa taekwondo, something right. ko sa martial arts. As in tinago ko lang. Alam na nagwo work out ako. So, Umalis ako ng madaling araw para magtraining. Umuwi ako ng bahay. So, taekwondo. So doon ko binubo sa taekwondo sa sayaw. Like I, mean, I was just like, cause in my own experience, like let's say yung kinakwento niya. Like I was kind of like, I kind of knew when I when I was a kid that that I was gonna be that I'm gay. Like I'm I'm not. My first crush is Dean Kane, Superman, so <laughs> Lois and Clark. And then when my mom found out that I was gay, well. The, the way she found out was, um, nagte alam niyo mga VCR, yung mga VHS. Right. Hindi na namin. Parang wala ka Pero alam mo, parang wala sila kasi appliances. Ang nabutin na namin yung mga binibuyo. DVD. Anyway, yung mga VCR. Yung mga VCR. Tapos, meron kami, ano yung movie na Dante Speak? Baka naman yun, hindi nyo paalam. Hindi pa. So, nag-tape ako yun ng, ano, ano, parang, you know, softcore dun sa, sa BHS. Tapos pinanood ng nanay ko yung Dante Speak. Uh-huh. Tapos dun niya nalaman kasi I taped over, I recorded over like a, like a softcore porn mm-hmm. dun sa, ano, like a gay porn. Yeah. And then that's how she found out. I came home from school and then the tape was on top of the table. I just went inside my bedroom and then I did not come out until like, you know, the next day. Yes. But two days after, my mom brought her church uh, mates, and they were praying over me. Oh my God. And that's where where I felt so ashamed. Mm-hmm. I I was I was kind of like getting to know myself, and then suddenly I have to retract because of the shame, mm-hmm. because that that that's what was in that circle. Like you know, like yung shin shame kind of parang that gayness is a sin and gayness is a disease. That you, that you, yeah, that you can get rid of, and from then on, and then I, pagka, whenever my dad would see me with a with a gay guy, he would hit me with a belt. Oh my God! Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> ako naman yun sinasabi naman ko, um, wag kang masyadong, like. Magpahalap ka. Hindi, like what's that word? You don't hurry it. Oh, take your time. Oh, like, take your time. Your pace. Yeah, and choose the right man. Ganon. Because oh. now, now that like, from eight relationships I've had. Eight. Yeah, from eight. bakla oh, to trans. That's right. <laughs> it wasn't worth it. What What do you mean? What's not worth it? It's not worth I, it. I I was rushing everything. Oh, okay. like everybody has their own process. Right. Diba? Everybody has their own process. For example, uh, Mandy. You have your own process in coming out. Yes. So, for you, like, what is, what is this process? Like, why don't you come out to your parents? Mo? 
Ako wala ring sarili-salita. Like nung second year high school ako wow. and then like nag nagsali ako ng cheering squad. Tapos the next day sinabi ng mga classmates ko sa mom ko. Tapos doon na nila nalaman na ay parang yung anak ko nagiging babae na. Tapos kasi ako lumaki ako sa grupo ng puro lalaki talaga. Uh-huh. So talagang like sila nagulat sila na ay babae pala siya. Mm-hmm. Hey, what 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 changed it kung ang surrounding mo is puro lalaki? Okay. What made you like mm-hmm. nagkaroon ako ng crush. It? Nagkaroon ako ng okay. crush. Pero bigat, bigat parang sa akin talaga kakaiba kasi right. sa babae ako na attract. And then like the next day, parang sa, bala- sa lalaki na ako na-attract. Like wala pa sa akin. Pero hindi ko alam parang gusto kong mag-attract. Totoo feelings mo sa baba. Oo, ako na, 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 na-experience ko na rin yan. Nung junior so, dalawa high. tayo. Pero ako, <laughs> nagka-girlfriend ako nung junior high. Mm. I didn't love her. I was just scared no. na mabully ako. Yeah. Kasi ang dami na nagtataka nun. So oh, that's right. So beard. Good. So that's beard. Right. That's the term. Ikaw, Liz. I did have a coming out story. It's, it's my life is boring. It, it's not like I didn't. I did have like I had a sit down with my parents. They knew, and then they didn't ask me as well. Like I, I started uh, hanging out with with the lesbian, and then I will bring. Alam nga nila mo pagiging bakla kasi. Only, only because. <laughs> maybe, uh, only, only maybe because. Um, in a family setting in the Philippines, we don't have open conversation, right? Like, not like of this. Of course. Yeah, like, yeah. We don't have the sit sure. down and diba. How's yeah. your school today? Wala kami ganun. It's not like, uh, sa, sa tondo pa wala tayong ganun. Diba? Sa amin wala ganun. So, ganun. So, I, I grew up. Wala kami bahay. I, 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 I'm not saying that it's it's a bad. It's just how it's it's bad. It's just how it is. And that's mm-hmm. a, that's a culture. It's yes. a, it's a culture. That's how they were raised too. So yeah, ex- exactly. So that's all they know as a that's parent. That's all correct. So that's... I didn't have that conversation. Um, as another thing, then I uh, know uh, I want to say is because maybe not to brag, but maybe I've been like I've been helping my my parents. Your family. Yeah. So they didn't they didn't. <laughs> question my choices. Sure, malaking factor yun, ha? So they didn't question my choices any longer. Because yeah. I somehow I helped with I helped out with my my sisters sending them to colleges and yeah. on. So hindi na sa kanila issue like whatever it is that makes you happy, this is fine. Yeah. Yeah. So ganun he, although hindi ko I didn't know, ha? hindi wala confirmation sa mga parents ko about it na. But, but it's not it's not something that it's a it's a big deal yeah. in our family. But, but malaking factor yun. The, the the economics you you're talking about it, the economics of like coming out because when you are are, it's harder to come out when you're a kid because you're not made. But once you're like grown up and you're like made, like you have a career, mm-hmm. you have, you're building your own family, it's kind of like easier for them to digest. Right. Yung, yung, yung coming out. Mo. Which comes to the next point I was gonna ask because Liz mentioned like the difference of um, cultural acceptance between in the Philippines right. and, and here, here in Canada. America, so, yes. do you, like, but you, can you? Do you can you differentiate the level of acceptance uh, Philippines and level of acceptance dito? I'm not so sure about the Philippines because I've never really experienced mm-hmm. that part. But however, for me, coming out to my friends, I mean, they kind of just knew. Baklang bakla ako nun. Like, <laughs> tumawa gumagano na ako yung hair gumagano pa. <laughs> Tapos, yeah, like alam na nila. So, so hinihintay lang talaga ng mga friends ko. Yeah, Pero meron din ako. Yeah, tsaka, pero meron din akong friends na ayaw ko sa ano, ayaw ko ipa-introduce sa ibang friends nila, ganon ganon kasi naihiya sila. And I was like, kala ko okay yon Kasi yeah. kung friends kit, kung friends tayo, right. dapat walang embarrassment, embarrassment, okay. shaming, ganyan-ganyan. Yeah. How about you, Francesca? Ano yung acceptance ng mga friends mo? Yeah. Yung nalaman nila na ito yung gusto mong mangyari sa buhay mo? Well, mayroon ako, may time na nagkakamout ako sa friends. Selective lang. Yung iba na nararamdaman na nila. Yung iba so, na nagdi-denial pa ako nung high school, nung college, nung uh, university ako. Ngayon minsan kasi malakas doon yung mga iba, yung mga pangamoy. Alam mo na. Ano ba ang mga set of friends mo before if you don't? Um, mga criminal ba 'yan? Ayun ka talaga, Snatcher! 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 Snatc
Napapasa din ba kayo ng itlog ng mga tao? So, okay, go. Kasi, di- na-divide eh. Do- no, nag-aral ako until 14 years old. I finished high school 14 years old sa Dinagat Island. Sumibat agad ako. Uh, ako Manila. 14 years old? Grad week ka na ng high school? Yes. I 14. Univer- I went to university at 14 and a half. Oh, wow! Wow! Ang aga. Hmm. Pero ako yung pinaka... Bobo sa batch namin. Kaya pala. Kaya yun yung lesson daw ug madaliin and but dito sa Canada were you you feel more liberated nung dumating ka ah nag ano muna first time ko nakakita ng drag queen sa Lethbridge about like 2017 okay afternoon inas nila ako maging drag queen so sabi ko sige go so yun yung pinaka coming out ko sa public Mm. I didn't say in a Facebook na I'm a gay. I come out with a drag name and perform right. Crazy in Love with Beyonce and I love it. So, so, so if there's um coming out, you better come out big. Yes, yeah. yeah. Beyonce. 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 Sabi niya, ako sa ko nakuha yung pangalan ko. Yung best friend ko nag-nagsapas. Sumagot ka man. Ano ba? Ay, ganun ba? Hindi ko rin mag-in. Anong ang history ng Francesca? Kasi yung real name ko is Francis. Okay. Okay. Ginawa ko ng Francesca kasi sa Pilipinas, lagi akong ina-out ng mga kaibigan, Francesca, Cheska, yeah. Bayot, no? Okay. <laughs> Tapos yung Dynamites, yung isang mga, mga queens doon sa table, ng kamata ko, you look like a bomb on the stage, like explosive. We should oh, name you something. If close, sabi ko, Ano si Paul? Oh no, puti ni lagi Francesca Greenade. No ko yo bomb. Bawal din ako ka-pleasure for. Wala si Dynamite pasabog din yo. C4. Si Barbie, anong naging kwento mo? So anong anong difference yung being in the Philippines and here like growing up? What was the difference for you? Like as 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 a as a queer person? And that's hard for me to answer because when I was in the Philippines, parang uh, baby and baby, parang boy pa siya. Yes, baby boy pa. Alright. Di pa ako tulad nung. Tapos pero ano? Um, judging on like your question with um, how did my peers take it? Actually, when I left the Philippines, I was in grade three or grade two. Tapos I kept all my classmates uh, Facebook. Mm-hmm. And so we're still in touch. Um, back, back in the Philippines. Back right? in the Philippines, yes. Mm-hmm. Tanggap, tanggap na Manila. And I think it's really like the, for me the, the biggest factor is the generation, not really the. Other. Correct. I yeah. agree with that. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. generation that you you know Our hang out with. No, especially yeah. when you have access to internet, you can just yes, yes. search oh. it up no, and mm. stuff. No, but you you have to remember too. You no, know? it's not just the generation, but this is this is a long fight. Yeah. Let me just like coming from that, coming yes. from that generation of my na na labor to give you yeah. no. to give us freedom to, to, yeah. to yeah. give us this oh. <laughs> the pave the way. Correct? Well, that's because like before, be, before us, there were yeah. there were there were gays, lesbians, and queer people who fought for for us to be so we can we come out here, easier. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yung, yung and, level of acceptance in society now. That is. You know, talaga yung reason why we're here. Yeah, right. and, and also Stonewall right. isn't that far away. Yes, Correct. Yeah. So, parang nandito pa lang tayo. Wala pa ngatay ng 50 years old, di ba? Right. 60 That's years right. From Stonewall. That's mm-hmm. right. There's there's a the huge history there, and we would like to thank you, mga nagpave ng way, yeah. para mm-hmm. so we can um have this con- even having this conversation. Right. Right. Yeah. You know, and having a lot of like LGBT representations in media. Right. You know, ma- ma- malaking tulong yun para dun sa coming out. Bago natin tapusin itong topic natin, ano ang gusto niyong huling sabihin sa mga tao na nagpa-plano mag-come out? Actually, like, I have a better question, man. Hmm. Um, In English lang. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Uh, Besides, like, people like coming out, what, what is your message, not just for children who wants to come out, not just for the kids who wants to come out, what is your message to their parents too? Yes. Let's start with Francesca. I guess my message sa mga parents is that, Stop being a denial. 
Mm-hmm. Like, be honest to your children. Because we will mm-hmm. find out. Mm-hmm. And when we find out, Mas na, we're going to lose trust from you. Kaya nagkakaroon mm-hmm. ng may naglalayas, yeah. may tampo, yeah. yes. yeah. uh, nag, naghahanap ng friends outside the family. Creating their own family. Yes. 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 And dahil din sa inyo. So kayo, alam nyo naman, alam po na maraming parents na alam nila yung anak nila is LGBT member. They're just denial. Yeah. Stop lying. <laughs> Learn to accept first within your family. Kasi pag sinimulan mong magsinungaling, ipakita mo sa anak mo na hindi mo masyado accepted, ay babalik yun. So itatandaan mo, tatanda tayong lahat. That's true. Mm-hmm. Who's gonna take care of you when you get old? Especially sa culture natin. Mm-hmm. And you, mostly sa mga gay people, katulad ko, we are the bread winner. Yes. Mm-hmm. Kasi nga hindi tayo ba- a- ako 35 years old wala pa akong asawa wala Anong lahi yung, yung breed? <laughs> <laughs> anong generation? <laughs> anong anong breed yung breed winner? Basta na lang. Okay. Okay. How about I know. How about how about the kids? Um, how about the kids, um, uh, Kiko? What, what what's your message for for those young kids who wants to come out? You know what? Um, dito sa Canada madali na lang. Yes. Sa Pilipinas. Yeah, at your own mahirap, pace. Mahirap pa sa Pilipinas eh, kasi we're eh, very religious country tayo. Eh. Yeah. And dami mo sa the politics. And we yung alang ano eh, yung gender equality bill yeah. alang hindi nila maipas sa Congress yeah. sa Senate. But I think a problema is yung mga lawmakers hindi tayo. Mm, hindi pa hindi pa sila handa. <laughs> yeah. That's good. How about you, Barbie? Um, I guess to the parents, I would say I feel like it doesn't get said a lot, but as long as you're trying, it's okay. Mm, as that's I, true. As, that's in, in a lot of ways, but um, I know, like even like up. Obviously, for the parents, it's also it can also be hard, right? Yes. It's something you're not used to, and that's something like for the kids also to give your parents time to get used to it because yeah. it's like you know it, it can be a big change for them also, yeah. and if we work through it together, na hindi na parang oh ako yung ako yung anak na bakla na kailangan ano you accept kailangan, me right yeah, away accept me right away, di ba? It's it's a journey and. Um, it's nice when you get It's a process. Yes, yeah. 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 It's a process. Mm-hmm. And they have their own pace too. Um, if we have really our own young, pace, and I so do they. My yes. 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 Okay, about Malia. Of course, for the parents, for um, if you have children, let them live their life. And also, I know in the Filipino com- community, we don't talk about mental health. Right. right. So it's always been a taboo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there's a lot of people who get shamed for being gay, and then they go through this depression and this other mental issues and stuff and we don't talk about that so i think just love your children as much as you can and you can guide them but do not enforce it because that's how that's how they're going to be away from you and for the kids follow your heart because it's your life as long as you're not stepping on someone else you're good to go and also yeah don't eat a lot of candies. Girl. <laughs> 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 yeah. I guess that recaps our conversation in our first episode. So we would like so yeah. So we would like to thank our guest. That was that was an amazing insights and thank you for sharing your journey. Thank you for sharing thank your you so journey. much. I think for sharing yeah. up today. And also thank you for being uh, being here because it's it's gonna be a it's gonna be a conversation that not a lot would agree. Yes. Or you not be, a lot of comfortable. Yeah, not a lot of yeah. very comfortable. Being here, you're, you're making yourselves vulnerable yeah. uh, with other people's uh, uh, feelings and emotions. Yeah. And they yeah. might not agree with us, but you are here and you're, it's, it's, uh, it's something that we truly appreciate. Perfect. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. Thank and we happy. love having you here. Oh, okay. Music. <laughs> okay, so Liz and Mandy. So, what do you think of our first episode, and what do you think of our conversation today? It's very interesting. Congratulations, Pao. It's on the first episode. That was really well thought out. And I kind of want to piggyback on Francesca Dynamites, or Kiko, when he said that, um, for for the parents, no? Um, We also want to have a conversation in the sense that you let them know that they're they're loved. 
fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Right? As a parent, I don't know if I'm gonna be a parent, but as a parent, you wanna be involved in that children. Yes. Yeah. Don't those children. Yeah. Ako naman sa akin, first things first things first. Number one na mahalaga yung communication. Uh-huh. Kasi ang pagmamahal ng dyan, ng dyan yung respeto. Sa akin, ang com- nagsisimula yan sa communication eh. Kailangan nandun yung communication between nung parents, uh-huh. saka nung anak. Kasi kapag may open communication kayo, malalaman ng mga magulang mo kung ano yung pinagdadaanan mo. At the same time, ikaw bilang magkakamaut ka, alam mo rin kung ano yung good timing para sa pamilya mo, kung pen, paano ka at kung kailan ka magkakamaut. Kasi ngayon, pag wala tayong communication sa family natin, ang resort natin is like social media o kaya mga yeah. friends natin. Tapos, napipid na tayo ng iba't ibang mga hindi masyadong magandang ideas. mga ideas. So, right. Para sa akin, nagsisimula yan sa loob ng bahay. Communication. Yeah. Right. Pero sa akin, ako ang takeaway ko talaga. Because like we saw like different generations of right. LGBT, right? We saw, you know, like growing up in the Philippines versus growing up here. Malaking bagay yung um, institutional acceptance. Yes. Dun sa pagiging yung social, yung, yung society. Yeah. Your society, how they accept LGBT, how they accept gays, lesbians, or yung community natin. It's very important that that the the social institutions themselves begin accepting, right. because that would that would create the envi- environment for us to make it easier to come out. Because, right. diba, like what well, what well, we keep on saying, our parents um, didn't know better, right? Right? Why? Because that's how they were brought up. So, yung yung social institutions natin dapat unti unti na siyang nagbabago yes. to progress. So it would be easier for even the parents. You know? And so I, I think that is very important step for a lot of LGBT to come out first is to build that social uh, yung acceptance of social institutions. Well, anyway, yeah. so we'll, we'll recap on that. Thank you so much to all our viewers and thank you for watching our first episode of Lad Lad. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Marami you. pa kayong aabangan. Okay, so thank you very much and we'll see you again next week for our second episode. See you next time. See ya. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. 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 Thank you for being on the first episode. Thank you for the food. See you later, Sassy. Good night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just start. Let me know. Let me know.